everybody. Welcome back to Footy Leagues Around the World. My name is Ryan, and in today's episode, we are talking about a former Soviet state. It is Belarus. Footy Leagues Around the World. Footy Leagues, heck yeah! There are three levels to the Belarusian football pyramid. At the top is the Belarusian Premier League, also known as the Vyshashaya Liga which simply means top league in both Belarusian and Russian, apparently. That league has 16 teams. Next is the first league, which also has 16 teams. And finally is the second division with 15 teams. The winner of the Premier League qualifies for the first round of the UEFA Champions League, while the second and third place teams qualify for the first round of the Europa League. Bottom two teams are relegated, while the top two teams from the first league are promoted. The bottom team in the first league is relegated, while a top team in the second league is promoted. There are two cup competitions in Belarus, and I'm sure you can guess what they are. First is the Belarusian Cup, your standard knockout competition, which sees the winner qualify for the Europa League, and the Belarusian Super Cup, a single match which acts as the season opener between the previous year's Premier League winner and the winner of the Belarusian Cup. The match is usually played in late February or early March. Due to the very chilly climate in Belarus, during those months, the Super Cup and many preseason games are played in a 3,000-seat indoor stadium in the country's capital of Minsk called the Football Manege. The Premier League season lasts from April to November with each team playing 30 games or each team in the league twice. The teams are spread throughout the country, but most teams are found in the country's capital and largest city, Minsk. Since Belarus was part of the former Soviet Union, the country's modern soccer history doesn't really start until 1992, when the country declared independence. The initial set of teams in the league included Dynamo Minsk, the only Belarusian side in the former Soviet top flight, five teams from the lower tiers of the Soviet League system, and ten teams from the Belarusian SSR First League. The league initially went back and forth between a summer league and a more traditional European-style winter league until 1996, when it was changed permanently to a summer league due to the weather and field condition issues. The size of the league has changed throughout its history to as many as 17 teams and to as few as 11 teams. The most successful side in Belarus has been Bati Borisov, who has won the Premier League 14 times, including 12 straight titles since 2006. By the way, if you want to check out cool videos of the history of Bati, check out a video in the description below. Fun fact, they actually got their name from a tractor factory, which is where the Bati comes from. There are four teams tied with the most Belarusian Cup wins with three each. They are Dynamo Minsk, Bati Borisov, Dynamo Brest, and Belshina Babrusk. Belarusian clubs haven't had a ton of success in major European competitions, and have never escaped the group stages in either the Champions League or the Europa League. Bati Borisov has made it to the Champions League group stage five times and the Europa League group stage three times, while Dynamo Minsk has made it to the Europa League group stage twice. Rules of the Belarusian Premier League state that no more than five foreign players can be on the field at the same time, though there are no other rules that state how many foreign players can actually be on a roster. Other rules in the league state that each stadium must have a capacity of at least 1,500, and each stadium must have under-soil heating, because it does get pretty cold in Belarus. While the majority of players in the league are from Belarus, foreign players in the league come from countries like Ukraine, Russia, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Moldova, Georgia, Lithuania, Albania, Greece, Croatia, France, Finland, Portugal, the Ivory Coast, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Nigeria, Cameroon, Uganda, Ghana, Trinidad and Tobago, and Brazil. For those who can't go to games, games are broadcasted locally through Belarus 5, the country's national state TV sports channel. For those elsewhere, highlights are pretty hard to find unless you search the league's name in Belarusian. Through what seems to be the Belarusian Football Federation's official YouTube channel, you'll find up-to-date HD highlights of every game. If you know anywhere else on YouTube or the internet to find highlights or streams of the league, you know what to do. Leave a comment or a link below. Well, that's it for Belarus. Thanks for watching. Coming up next is a pretty big one in the soccer world. It's Belgium. <laughs>